Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Watch Fit 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Pairing this watch with the Android phone or any Huawei watch uh, with the Android phone is basically a bit more complicated than it used to be because uh, in the old times we could just download the Huawei Health application from the Play Store and use it to pair the devices together. But nowadays we need to uh, basically download the Huawei App Gallery and then use it to download the Huawei Health application and then we can use that application to pair the devices together. And that's because uh, Google basically remove, uh, removed almost every Huawei Health, not Huawei Health, but Huawei application from the Play Store. So if you try to search for something like Huawei Health, you won't find it in the Play Store. Basically, you need to download the uh, app gallery. And to do that, you will need to have the internet connection. So I recommend to connect to Wi-Fi or something like that. And also Bluetooth enabled to uh, pair the devices together. And once you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled, you will need to open the uh, web browser. It can be any type of web, web browser, but I'm just gonna open the Huawei, uh, not Huawei, but Google Chrome, my bad. Uh, and I'm gonna use that. You can use anything else if you like to. And once you open the browser, uh, tap on search and type in uh, app gallery uh, .huawei.com and then uh, press search. And it should bring you to this page, the app gallery page. And on this page, you should see this uh, button right here in the top left corner. This is the download button. Tap on it, tap on install app gallery. You will see the pop up that the file might be harmful, but we want to download it anyway. And once the file is downloaded, you should see this pop up and you can tap on open. And if, you, if you're missing this pop up, you can always tap on more options or menu button, tap on downloads, and you should see the list of downloaded files. And on that list, there should be a Huawei app market. So if you see it on the list, you can tap on it to open the file. And since this, this is the APK file, basically the uh, package of the application, we want to install it. But as you can see, the Chrome, my browser, is missing some type of permission to do that. And if you don't have the required permission, you should see the, this pop up. And what you need to do is to tap on settings. It will bring you to this page. And here you need to allow the apps from this source, basically. It will, this is the setting for the install unknown apps or unknown sources, third party sources, something like that. On each day, the version of Android, it's called something different, I believe. So basically look for something like unknown apps, unknown sources and stuff like that. And what we need to do is to allow this app to install the apps from the unknown sources. And once you allow it, you will see the pop up uh, to install the app gallery. Tap on install. And once it's done installing, you can tap on open. In the app uh, gallery, we need to tap on next, agree. You can deny the permission for the phone calls or you can allow it. Here, let's tap on OK. And now you should see the main page of the uh, app gallery. What we want to do is to tap on uh, apps, tap on search and type in Huawei Health and tap on search. And at the top, you should see the Huawei Health application. And next to it, there should be this install button. You can tap on this install button. As again, as you can see, again, we have the permission uh, problem. So we need to tap on settings, allow the installation of uh, unknown apps. Then we can go back, tap on install again. It will start downloading the application. And once it's down, uh, done downloading, it will uh, prompt you to tap on install to install it. And here we have the prompt. We can tap on install. And once the application is done installing, you will see the open button and you can tap on it uh, to open the Huawei Health application. And uh, once the Huawei Health opens, uh, you will see the service region. But for now, let's uh, go to our watch. And basically what we need to do is to turn it on because at this point it is turned off. And to turn it on, press and hold the 
uh, crown button. Of course, if your watch is not turned off, you don't need to turn it on. But mine is, so we need to turn it on. Once you see the Huawei logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And if your watch is brand new or has been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen. I believe it will also appear if you disconnect it from your uh, phone, because you can disconnect the watch without resetting it. So basically, uh, before the pairing, you will be able to select the language of the watch. So scroll through the list, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, tap on it to select it. And after you select the uh, language, you will see this page, basically the uh, pairing page for your watch. Now let's go to the app and select the service region. Um, one thing to remind you is that if you select the United States, uh, there is a high probabil probability that you, you won't be able to use the watch faces, install apps and stuff like that. So I recommend to use different region. I usually use United uh, Kingdom, for example. So I'm going to scroll through the list of the regions, find the United Kingdom and tap on it to select it. And then we can tap on next, then next. Agree. Here we have the permission for the physical activity. So if you want to use your watch to track your stats for the activities like running, cycling, steps, calories and stuff like that, you will need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And now you should see the health page of the app. And on this page, there should be this devices icon at the bottom. Tap on it. Here tap on add device. Allow the required permission. It will start scanning for the nearby devices and it should detect your Huawei Watch Fit 3. Tap on the connect and probably it will prompt you to log in into Huawei ID account. And to uh, log in, basically, you will need to enter the email uh, address and password and then probably you will need to confirm uh, with the code from your email. Basically, they will send you the code and you need to type it in to confirm. Uh, so, uh, of course, one thing to mention before we continue, if you don't have an account, you can always tap on register or use the v login via SMS. Basically, it will send you the SMS code and you can use it to log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna enter the email address and password. As you can see, uh, I need to confirm with the code from the uh, email. So I need to tap on uh, get code. It will be sent to the email that is associated with my uh, account. So give me a couple seconds. I'm gonna check the email. Okay, I got the code. I copied it. I'm gonna paste it right here. And then tap on okay. And after you log in, it will restart the app. And what we need to do is to tap on devices again, uh, tap on our device, wait until it's done searching for the devices. It should detect our watch. If it uh, doesn't re detect your watch, wake up the screen on it. Maybe that will help. You can also reboot it by pressing and holding the crown button for about 12 seconds. Uh, and that should help. As you can see, it detected our watch. We can tap on connect. If you want to use the uh, options to, for example, re uh, accept the calls, decline them, uh, use the phone uh, as a Bluetooth uh, call and stuff like that, you will need to allow the phone calls permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Once you see this pop up in the app, tap on pair, on the watch, tap on the check mark to confirm. Here, you need to check the box, tap on next. Right here, we can check the boxes to auto download the updates over, over Wi Fi and auto install the updates uh, when the watch is not in use. You can check these boxes if you like to, uh, you, if you want to, or rather, if you want your watch to update itself, basically. If you don't care, you can uncheck it and then tap on continue. And want me, it wants me to enable the updates automatically. I'm just going to tap on install updates manually. Here, we can tap on done, continue. And right here, we can uh, enable the notifications for our watch. So basically, if you receive some notifications on your phone, th those notifications will be forwarded to your watch. So you can check them on your watch uh, also. 
Um, if you want to enable this feature, tap on enable and then allow the required permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on cancel and then tap on OK to continue. I'm going to show you how to enable it. So tap on enable. It will redirect you to this page. And here we need to find the Huawei Health application on the list of apps. Tap on it. Tap on the switch next to allow notification access and then tap on allow. And once you uh, allow the notification access for the Huawei Health application, you can go back to the app. And now you should see that the notifications are turned on and you can uh, customize the settings for them. You can turn them on or off. You can also enable and disable the options uh, or option rather. And that uh, if you're using your phone, the screen on your phone is enabled, active, and you won't be receiving the notifications on your watch. Uh, and if it's disabled, so basically if your phone is maybe in your pocket and the screen is turned off, you will be receiving the notifications on your watch. And if you turn off this option, if it's turned off and you're using your phone, you will see the notifications on your watch anyway. So that's about the preferences, I believe. Okay, and below we have the list of applications and you can turn on and off the notifications for each, each specific app. And how it works is uh, if you enable the notification, let's say for Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord on your phone, that notification will be sent also to your watch. But if you disable this option, it won't be sent to your watch. You will see it only on your phone. So you can customize it uh, to your preferences. And once you're done, you can tap on done. Okay. And here we have the permission for the locations, rather location. And this is useful if you want to use features like local weather on your watch, maybe track your route on the map when you go for the cycle running and stuff like that. Um, anything that requires basically location uh, will require this permission. If you want to use any of those features, you will need to allow it. If you don't care, you can keep it denied. Next, we have the calendar access. This is useful for the events from your calendar. So let's say you have some calendar events, events on your phone. Uh, if you allow this permission, they will also pop up on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to use it, tap on allow. Here we have uh, phone call logs. This is useful for the notifications for the uh, calls. So if somebody calls you, it will display the number, also the name of the number and stuff like that. So uh, any notification related permission is like phone call logs, contacts, uh, SMS and stuff like that. So if you want to use the notifications, allow the permissions if you don't care and deny them. Then tap on OK. And once you're done with the permissions, you should see the device page for your Huawei Watch Fit 3. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, you will see the tutorial. You can go through it. And once you're done, you should be able to use your watch. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you.